We're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. I'm C with Atlantic Knife, and today we're going to do a overview of the CJRB Feldspar. We have four out here on the table. Uh, they have eight total, but uh, we'll go over these and tell you about them and show you how they perform. We'll start off with the small version of the Feldspar. It is a D2 blade, as though are the large ones. 7.9 inches overall. G10 is the handle material. Comes in the same colors, black, brown, jade or natural, and this gray, grayish blue. The blade is 3.2 inches leaving the handle about 4.7. Pocket clip, stainless steel, reversible, tip-up carry, brass pivot collar, ceramic ball bearing for the pivot, see-through chassis on the liner lock style knife, has two barrel spacers, this is a thumb stud, opener. So you just flip it with your thumb. Nice little knife. You can get your whole hand on it. This is the small version of the Feldspar. Here is the larger version. This one is eight and a quarter inch overall. The size really comes in not in the overall length, but in the beefierness of the handle on the blade. It's a D2 blade with a G10 handle. All the same features, lanyard hole, reversible pocket clip, stainless steel, brass pivot collar. It also has a thumb stud opener. Very smooth, manual. Stone wash on the blade, flat grind. It's a nice little drop point knife there. Let's go ahead and show you how uh, this knife cuts. I bet it's going to cut smoothly and quickly without fraying, as do all the knives. CJRB is a economy model of artisan cutlery. We all know artisan. They use a D2 steel on all of their knives. That's their idea of economy. Show you how this knife cuts. Not bad. Doesn't cut as well in the uh, precision cutting like that as the CJRB Barranca. But it cuts nicely. Cuts better in this manner. Of course, it's going to because of the wide belly and the thickness of the spine. As it goes down, it actually goes quickly. Not bad. Let's go ahead and show you how it will do in a spear cutting. Got some tape on the back of this cardboard. So. Not bad, you got good control over it. You can turn it as you need it. Pierces a good amount through, as you can see. Not bad. Does an adequate job. Cut through some tape there, so that means now we're gonna have uh, glue on our knife. Really hate that. All right, so we're looking at the CJRB Feldspar. We got it in the large version. Tried to flipper stud that and didn't even have a flipper stud. And the smaller. There we go. Version. You can see the difference. Not bad. 
We'll hold it in my hand so you can see the real difference. It's about the length of my hand. And this one's just going to be a little bit longer. All right, for those of you that are watching on Instagram, make sure you follow Atlantic Knife. We do weekly uh, giveaways. We post daily with the knife reviews and all kinds of information about knives. If you're watching on YouTube, check out our weekly show. It's informative. It keeps you up to date on new knives coming out. And it can be considered funny, too. So it's a fresh take on it. On that note, I am C with Atlantic Knife, signing off.